give it. tomato sauce or even an oven. Hmm, who were the pilgrims anyway? The pilgrims were a group of people who lived in Europe over 400 years ago. They didn't agree with their government and wanted freedom to practice their own religion. They wanted to leave Europe to start a new colony. Well, a colony is a group of people who settle far from home. There was already a colony in Virginia, so the pilgrims decided to move near there. Now I know, it's really far, and the pilgrims never made it to Virginia. So, where did the pilgrims land? In 1620, the pilgrims left England on a ship called the Mayflower. Bad weather caused the ship to go off course, and the ship landed in a new area they called Plymouth. It's in the state we call Massachusetts today. When the pilgrims landed, they were sick and had very little food. But the Wampanoag people helped the pilgrims survive. Who were the Wampanoag? The Wampanoag were made up of different groups of native people living in the area that's now Massachusetts and Rhode Island. The Wampanoag people had met European settlers before and didn't trust the pilgrims. Europeans had forced some of the Wampanoag people into slavery and killed others. Squanto was one of the people who was captured and brought to Europe. When he finally returned home, he discovered most of his people had died. <sighs> Even though the Europeans had mistreated him, Squanto decided to help the pilgrims. He taught the pilgrims how to survive in their new home. Right, Moby. The pilgrims were able to grow food and even had a three-day feast with the Wampanoag. That's a lot of feasting. What happened at the first Thanksgiving? Actually, the pilgrims in the Wampanoag didn't call their feast Thanksgiving. They were celebrating the harvest when all the crops were picked and there was plenty of food for everyone. It wasn't until later that Thanksgiving feasts became a tradition. A tradition is something special that people do every year and gets passed down to other people. People aren't exactly sure what the pilgrims and Native Americans ate at their first feast together. But they probably ate squash, beans, corn porridge, and nuts. And they probably ate wild birds, deer, lobster, and maybe even seal. Hmm, I guess what they ate is really different from what we eat at Thanksgiving. How do we celebrate Thanksgiving now? Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays because my whole family comes together. Thanksgiving isn't just about turkey and mashed potatoes, Moby. It's a day we think about what we're thankful for. I can't wait for Thanksgiving. Our family has a tradition of playing football. Uh, you might want to change your clothes first, Moby. What do you guys think of when you think of Thanksgiving? So why don't you guys take out your writing journals and we're going to draw a picture of what you think you think Thanksgiving is or something that you think of when you think of Thanksgiving. Right, right.